serving tea to your demons, making peace with them, negotiating some space for yourself. So first you've got to name the demons. They're your own demons. You heard people when you were young especially call you by the names of these demons. So I'm going to write a few demon names on place cards. Stupid with an exclamation point is one. You can't is another one for me. Not you. And ugly. So I've written some names on place cards. I'm going to make tea for the demons. Green tea is traditional. The great Saint Milarepa served nettle tea to his demons. This happens to be ginger tea. So I'm going to put a little ginger tea in the pot. The water is boiling, the candle is hot, there's something extremely soothing and magical about a tea ceremony in any country. So I'm going to pour some tea for each demon. And for myself. I'm going to place the cards around the table and bring the teacups to the demons. Stupid, not you. These are my personal demons. You can't. And ugly. Demons like to be acknowledged. They're used to just shouting at you. To acknowledge a demon is really a big deal. If you don't acknowledge your demons, they fester inside you. They're much more powerful. So respectfully, I'm giving them tea. Taking time out from their shouting at me, from their torturing me, but offering them tea. And taking tea myself. It's important to take time with this, to honor the demons in a sense by acknowledging them. I'm going to sit down with them like any host in the tea ceremony. I'm going to enjoy my own tea. The spaciousness of this matters. Thank you.